but didn't let me see anybody, but I'm not going to let this lie. I am going to pursue it. I will keep going. Because fat people in this country need representation and they need equality. Fat discrimination has got to stop. The roly-poly kissogram job has turned Mandy's body image around. She thinks it could do the same for other big women who struggle with their weight. I think that there's a lot of women out there that were like how I was, that they don't have the confidence in their bodies, they don't think they're attractive. And to hear a group of 50 guys shouting, whooping, applauding, and saying to you basically, you're great, is going to build anyone's ego and they're all missing out on this because they think that people will be horrible to them. If they just took that one step, tried it even that once, because I always think you should at least try it. There's one person close to home that Mandy would love to see try it. Her Aunt Ailsa is 36 and overweight. Mandy thinks she'd be an ideal candidate. The first step is to take Ailsa along to a kissogram gig. It's fair enough explaining to someone what happens, but actually seeing it firsthand is completely different. Aunt Ailsa has always had problems with her weight. Hello. Hi, babe. Come on. Good to see you. Hello. 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 Mandy needs to convince her that the kissogram job will change all that. You know, you obviously don't know how they're going to react. Uh -huh. So, sort of like, how do you combat your nerves? Because, you, you know, they might just freak out and go, oh, you know, what's going on? Uh, if they freak out and they don't want anything to do with it at all, because I've had people run away, you just grab their mate. What swings it for Ailsa is seeing how Mandy's body image has changed. At first I just thought, oh, no way. But I've seen her confidence grow, and she obviously really, really enjoys it. I think if I can sort of get over my own, you know, fears and the unknown, I think just that very first initial you know, going out there into an audience of people, um, you know, just going out there and thinking, yeah, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to do this, um, and getting over that first night. I've got an open mind at the moment. <laughs> uh, here we go. Tonight's gig is a 30th birthday party. Mandy's been booked as Miss Whitlash. Mandy's enrolled Aunt Ailsa as her assistant oh, for the up. night. <laughs> Ailsa will get a close-up look at what the job involves before she makes her decision. Right. I can't wait to see you next time. <laughs> What does Aunt Elsa make of what she's seen? That was one thing I never thought about. Do they have a partner or a wife or something? Yeah, some of them, they really go for it. Oh, yeah. the, the wives or the girlfriends, they really, really go for it. Yeah, yeah. Some cream in your hair. <laughs> Hazard of the job. Despite the hazards, it looks as if Aunt Elsa's signing up to be a fat and proud kissogram. It's got me excited. It's really, you know, made me think more about it. So, yeah, I think a couple more and, yeah, I might be ready to go. Yep, as I said, if I can do as good as you, <laughs> I'll be happy. <laughs> In Blackburn, community carer Fiona is getting ready to go out. Tonight, the Bigger Fun dance class is going ice skating. I'm going ice skating. 
Before joining Bigger Fun, Fiona was too embarrassed about her size to do any activity in public. A lot of girls have who go to the dance class have all got a bit more confident now and we're not bothered what we look like when we're dancing. Like, before you kind of feel self-conscious, but when you go to Big Fun, it doesn't matter, does it? I think the are in a bit off for us to skate in. I think they'll need it for health and safety. <laughs> I think we'll need knee pads, elbow pads and crash helmets. Well, I'll tell you, I've got leggings on underneath as well. <laughs> Extra padding. See you later. Right, here we go. Bigger fun has kicked off a whole new social life for Fiona. She's off to give her new friend Sandra a lift to the ice rink. Hi, hi. You have to really bang your door when you get in. Right. Susan's impressed. Ten of her bigger fun ladies have braved the trip. She's all too aware that ice skating might be fine for teenagers, but is another story for overweight women. I think the problem is, when you're overweight, you're frightened what other people are thinking about you. Tracy, help! There are barriers, for instance, getting down to tie your boots on. If you fall over, can you get up? You're going to be like this waddling duck trying to get up on the ice, things like that. Susan's main hope is that getting out and about will give her ladies more confidence. If you're in a group of people and you're all overweight and they're all having a laugh, it doesn't really matter. You can just help each other up. You know, you're not the only the one that's isolated. Right, off we go. I'm very nervous about this. I haven't ice skated ever. with a couple of vodkas at the same time. I really don't want to do this. Oh, my God. Woo! Help! <laughs> <laughs> it's called the locomotion shuffle. Now, have you got a double brand? You feel silly when you fall over and it hurts your bum. But you just get up, don't you? Well, you try to get up. I don't think that's for me. I think I'm better at dancing. In the end, not much ice skating actually goes on, but the girls do manage to get some line dancing in. Oh, we were practising new dance moves, cos it's dancing tomorrow night, so we're all having a dance. <laughs> do it. We dance neatly on the ice, don't we? Let's get coffee. Susan's clearly proud to see her ladies doing something they'd normally run a mile from. It was really, really good. Not the actual skating part, because that was absolutely terrifying, but just being the group. Everybody's really gelled, they're all really bonded, and uh, they're all planning next trips. Because there's a few of us said that we're, we're going to um, have a few lessons, if they're cheap enough. So that's all happened because of bigger fun. We've been talking about the dry slope skiing next, so that'll be really amazing, I'm sure. <laughs> I really look forward to that one, honest. <laughs>